Hi there, Winnie here from Draw So Cute. In this video, we're going to draw Flash from Disney Zootopia. So let's get started. Hi guys, before we started, I wanted to show you a little bit of my design process. With uh, Flash here, it was a little bit more uh, difficult for me to figure out exactly how, how I wanted to draw him. And that's why I kind of went through a lot of variations uh, with my sketches before I um, finalized it to draw it for you. And so this is something I posted on Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram yet, it's uh, Draw So Cute by Wenny. And if you like to see sketches that I draw before I actually do the final on YouTube, you can follow me on Instagram. But um, I basically could not decide which one I liked most. And so I put it up on Instagram to ask my uh, Draw So Cute fans. And so in the end, it was number two and number three that was picked the most. And I actually did like some things about both of them. And so what I ended up doing was combining all the things that I liked about the drawing and I made it um, this final drawing that I'm going to do for you. But uh, before I start, I just want to show you, I first I started with a squarish head and um, I wasn't too happy with this squarish head. It was kind of like the pop figure um, of this um, flash here. And so I wanted to make it more of my own. And so I changed it up to this dough bowl, uh, dough ball shape uh, head that I usually draw with my draw so cute um, characters and I gave it bigger eyes just to see what um, difference it would make in a smaller nose and then from there I decided to try a smaller eye and a bigger nose just to see what else would happen and give it some hair that I noticed on flash on um, when I looked deeper and so there was just, I really liked the hair on this one. I, I liked the expression, but this one kind of looked a little like an old man. <laughs> but this one was really cute because it had the big eyes. So finally, I just combined everything and, um, and that's what I'm gonna be drawing for you guys today. So I hope you like the end result. So let's get started. So with Flash here, we're gonna first start by drawing his hairline at the top. And his hair is kind of split in the center. So right here, I'm going to draw a curve and it's going to be a little bit zigzaggy because he does have a lot of fur. So I'm just basically zigzagging. And from this is, would be the center where his hair parts. And so I'm going to go up and from right here, I'm going to sweep it down for the side of his um, face for the hair. So I'm going to come down here. I'm going to sweep it down. So this curve sweeps out right here for his hair. So we're going to come to the other side and draw the same thing. So I'm going to come here to the center and I know I'm going to end about right here. So I'm giving myself a point and I'm going to come up, down. So same thing, another one, two, three, and I'm going to sweep it down again. So I'm going to come down and end in the same height on the other side. And so from here, I'm going to start to draw the bottom of his face. So I'm going to be drawing a curve that goes all the way, and but not gonna, it's not going to be a smooth curve. It's going to be a little bit zigzaggy. Zigzaggity? <laughs> There's such a word because of his fur. But the goal is just to keep going all the way around. You can Here and there you can add some zigzags. So same thing here. Some zigzags. You can smooth it out. Some more zigzags and then smooth it out and connect it. Oops! Whoa! What happened there? <laughs> I guess I'm gonna have to fix that. <laughs> and um, so from here, go up right here and we're going to do the same thing, draw the same thing. This is going to be the top of his head. And we're going to sweep it down once again for some more zigzags. And curve it out, another one. And then from here, I'm going to come in and connect it out. And so here you can just draw a line, sweeps in for his hair. So let's do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to come out. Just 
keep going all the way. Doesn't have to be exactly the same on both sides. And curve it out. Bring it in and connect it back. And once again, just draw line inside for his hair. And so now we've got basic shape of his uh, face in. We're going to start to draw the nose. So the nose right here, I'm kind of putting it towards the center. You want to start with the nose because it's a good anchor point for you to figure out where to put the eyes. So right here towards the center, I'm going to draw a curve. And we're going to come down because his nose is kind of long, kind of like a koala bear. And come down. It's like an upside down U basically and I'm going to connect it right here with a curve that's a little bit um, pointier at the bottom. So in here just draw two small curves like this. You can shade it in for his nostrils. So now that you have the nose right here you know where you can put your eyes. So I'm going to give these two big eyes and they're going to be above this nose so about right here. I'm going to start to draw the eye. So big circle. So same thing on this side. Another big circle. And so from here, we're going to draw a curve line that comes down. So with flash, everything is very slow and droopy. And so everything is just kind of slanted downwards. So right here, I'm going to draw a curve that slants a little bit downward just to give him that look of sleepy, droopy, slow sloth. <laughs> so we come down over here to the other side and we're going to draw same thing. Nice and soft and slow. <laughs> and in here, we're going to draw another curve that's just following the outside. So I'm going to start to draw the eye. So same thing here. So it's just half of the eye that you're going to see. And I'm making it partially draw so cute eye. So another curve. And I'm giving it a circle highlight but right there. And I'm going to shade in this part. So I'm only giving it one highlight. And smooth this line out right here. And lines at the bottom. So same thing over here. Highlight would be about right here. And curve line at the bottom. And shade in the top. So some drawings that I do is pretty straightforward. One sketch I'm pretty much done. I kind of know how I want to do it. And some of them just take a little bit longer, a lot more work to figure out. But that's the fun part actually for me is the sketching part and making it my own, designing it. That's the part that I love most. <laughs> and so from here, let's give him a smile because it's really, really cute. Well, before I do that, let me draw, there's a patch on his eye that's really cool. So I'm going to draw basically, I'm going to follow this circle. So I'm going to follow this circle all the way around. I'm going to keep going. And from here, I'm going to come out because it's the little patch right here. The color. And just the whole goal is to make this curve right here. And so this one just continues down. Just kind of a teardrop shape that you're going for. So let's do the same thing on the other side. Follow your outside circle. Go all the way around, down. And here, once again, follow it and then come out. Some zigzags for the fur on the side of his face. And so now we can go in and give him his smile. So right here, I'm going to draw two curves on both sides. And I'm going to connect it with a nice big curve. Kind of comes towards the center right here and then comes up like that. It's a little bit sharp. And then towards the bottom right here, another curve. 
for his little chin. Just add some cuteness to him. <laughs> and of course his eyebrows. So his eyebrows are all so sloping down. So right here, I'm gonna draw a curve that comes down. And I'm gonna thicken it up and slant it in and taper it in. So same thing here. Down and then connect it. So everything is droopy. <laughs> so there, that's my uh, flash, <laughs> his head. And so now let's go and draw his body. So right here in the center, I'm gonna draw, well, let's draw the two sides first. So his body, I'm curving it a little bit because he is kind of big and a little bit chubby, has a little tummy. So that's why my, cur my lines are a little bit curved. And then right here, I'm gonna start to draw his tie. So towards the center, I'm just drawing a curve and I'm gonna angle my tie. And then up here, I'm gonna come up and draw his collar. So it's just kind of like a V. And so before I finish that, um, well, let's draw his, let's finish his tie. So I know his tie is about, because I'm gonna draw his belt bar right here. If you were using a pencil, just go ahead and draw his belt first, but I'm using a Sharpie, so I'm gonna draw his, I'm just gonna finish up his tie. And so for some details, there's a pendant right there, and then some stripes. So I'm just gonna go all the way through. And so now we can connect it. And so here I'm gonna connect it right here with a curve. And then I'm going to come in a straighter line, follow the top line for his belt. And so he has some buckles right here where his belt goes through. So I'm just going to draw two of them. So I'm going to erase that when I color it in. So just two loops on both sides. And so for his pants right here, well, let's come to the center first. So about right down here, we're gonna draw a slightly curved line. That's his crotch area. And I'm gonna curve it. And then from here, we're gonna draw an angle out. And I'm gonna come in. So he is a sloth, because it was very, um, legs are kind of bent. And come out with a low line. So right here, I'm going to draw a line right here and angle and bring it in. And right here you can draw some details because it's his pants. They kind of fold. So right here. So it's just the same thing other side. Curve it out. Bring it in. Line. And so here. Curve in. And then here angle it out. And so then come back in here, draw another line like that for the creases in where his legs bend. And so from here, we're going to connect it for his pants. And then here, connect it with a sharp, with a curve, and then it's going to be sharp right here and connect it back in. So this is an easier way I found to draw his uh, toes. So come back in here and we're going to draw one nail, another one, and another one. So it makes it a lot easier instead of drawing them individually. So, and then right here you can just add another line right there for a curve. So connect it, come in with a curve, connect it, and so same thing here. One, two, three. And then right here, another little crease. And so finally, <laughs> oh, let's not forget to give him a little curve right here for his belly. So but right here, we're going to draw a curve. So it kind of makes him look like he has a little belly. <laughs> and so here, come out here, and we're going to draw his sleeves. And we're going to connect it. Come in. So another part of his sleeves kind of rolled up. And so for this hand, he's a sloth. So it's really long and furry and big. So here, I'm gonna come down right here with this angle, come all the way down towards his foot. And right here, I'm gonna come out 
go in for some so it looks like fur come all the way down almost so you're kind of following almost the same a same um, shape right here and connect it and so then here we're going to draw his claws so you can only see maybe about two of them so then for this side it's the same thing we're going to draw his sleeve come out and I'm going to give him a little cuff on his sleeve so that's about the same side on the other same um, height on the other side and so this hand is a little bit more complicated I'm going to go really slow so from here I'm going to draw a line curves up and so from here I'm going to draw the first nail so I'm going to draw a nail that curves comes down and it's a little bit fatter and so then imagine this line going through I'm going to draw his other nail and one more so it made it easier for you to draw that and then right here for his um, thumbnail right here it's just a curve I'm going to curve in his nail like that and so now we can come from in here but right here and follow the same line come down to an angle where his elbow is and zigzag a little bit and then bring it into about right there <laughs> this is flash from uh, Disney Zootopia that sure took a while right I hope I made it uh, nice and easy for you guys to draw and um, didn't make it too complicated and uh, thanks so much for watching and please subscribe to get updates on more draw so cute videos see you later